And here we are, the final chapter, chapter seven of the Pillars of the Earth, the final chapter of book one. Let's just dive in. Chapter seven, I believe the last chapter, this is a hidden epilogue for this book. This will be the end of book one. A few weeks later, after how ready? whole dealio yes, happens, everyone will be there. We did that deal with the king. But how are we to pray and contemplate like this? What's the problem? I don't dare even to send my choir out there. We shall get used to it, all of us. We must be thankful for all of this, for each noise. Each face that disturbs us here. Oh, they're complaining about the noise because it's being built and they can't pray and stuff. Well, just, you know, we shall start with the, the fuck up. Then gradually work our way from east to west. That's the way it's done. The way I was taught to do it. I value your enthusiasm, my dear Mason. But so far, we're only cleaning up. I haven't even considered hiring a master builder yet. Neither you, nor anyone else. May I show you some drawings? By all means. He still has to try and sell him on this damn job. What am I doing here? Floor plan elevation section. Let's look at this. Look here first. If you were facing the cathedral with the front wall torn down, you would see it like this. Interesting. What's that? Coming out from above the entrance. Where? The nave will be about 32 feet high, will appear even higher, drawing the eye heavenward with its loftiness. Well said, a chamber worthy of God. I always wondered how walls this high could hold up so well. The Lord will be satisfied with a nave like this. That is only for the Lord. That's the tower, of course. I thought so, but why is it right above the nave? Shouldn't it be closer to the transept? Oh, don't be fooled. The tower is, of course, farther back, but one cannot show depth in a drawing. Ah, of course. Of course, you, you fool, How Philip. How high will it be? Uh, three halves of the nave, twice as high as the rest. How high would you like it to be? How high would you like it to be? Oh, I am not looking for another Tower of Babel. Just for something modest, yet awe-inspiring. What about the other drawings? Uh... Yeah, now we'll build our way in, I suppose. Imagine you're standing in the centre of the nave, looking at the wall. This is what you see. Are those windows? Right, but that's not all. On top are the clear story windows. Yes. Starting right in the middle is the Tribune Gallery. Shall I go on? Yes, yes, of course. I was just thinking. Keep going. Uh... On the lowest level are the Pillars of the Arcade. They're joined by arches, making up the bays. Through the archways, you can see the windows in the aisle. I can see you've put a lot of thought into this. I was just wondering... How long would this take to build? You can take your time with that answer. Uh, quicker is better, right? Well, that depends on how many people you employ. If you can afford 60 masons, you could build the whole church at once instead of working from east to west. That might take eight years, maybe ten. I wish my monastic officials had your ability to think ahead and calculate. Go on now, show me the rest of your drawing. He seemed happy with that answer. When we walk around the site, we mark where the walls will be, the pillars, the doors, and buttresses. Now for that, we need a plan like this, to tell us where to place our pegs and string. 
Is this how birds would see our church? Exactly. The nave the is birds a are six yeah. bays. And the chancel. Here, you can see the transept. I noticed, yes. It is remarkable how much you can reveal with so few lines. <laughs> Thank you, Father. If you have no concerns regarding the transept, I would like to move on. By all means. The chancel will have four bays. Hmm. 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 Hmm again, Philip, you fuck. Hmm. Oh my god, he did it. I can see the transept is two bays wide, so it will be twelve in total. It does look splendid, but isn't that rather small? Uh, th that's the that's this seems like the nicer answer. It would be smaller, but not less impressive. I guess a small cathedral would be closer to our means. It is still also uncertain. The king grants us timber and stone and wool from Shiring's pastures, but only God knows if it will be enough. I don't suppose you have any idea how much this would cost. Uh, optimistic seems like the better. I Go. know exactly how much this would cost. It would be no more than three thousand pounds. I've spent the last few weeks working out the annual income of the priory. Here's the answer: three hundred pounds a year, and we spend every penny. So, I need to find 200 pounds a year. It doesn't sound so bad when you put it that way. Imagine picking you up really Rancer. You want to build this cathedral yourself, don't you? Yes, Father. I want you to appoint me Master Builder. Why? Yeah? Seems like an answer would give. Because he wants to give people hope. Is that so? She just butts in anyway. Then answer me this one last question. If people were to enter your church, what image would they see crowning the tympanum above the entrance? One of Judgment Day to teach people to be good? Or one of paradise to remind them of God's mercy. Show them hell, so that they're afraid to do bad things. Hmm, I'd rather see trees and animals. I'm. Yeah, the nicer the trees and animals. Should be the promise you. of a better life. Therefore, it will show heaven. Yes. Milius, is there news of my brother? No, uh, unfortunately not. No one has seen or heard from him since the bishop and Percy Hamley were here. Papa, will there be statues inside? I statues? think so. Oh, that's enough, children. It's time you went out and played. Prior. Yes? My first wife, Agnes. She died without a priest, and she's buried in unconsecrated ground. Sometimes a man builds a chapel, or founds a monastery, in the hope that in the afterlife God will remember his piety. I just wonder, do you think my design might serve to protect Agnes's soul? God no longer asks for blood sacrifices, for the ultimate sacrifice has already been made. But the lesson of Abraham's story is that God demands the best we have to offer. That which is most precious to us. So you must ask yourself, is this design the best thing you could offer? Except for my children. Yes. Then rest easy, Tom Builder. 
God will accept it. I got a contract of employment. We did it, everyone. I, Philip of Gwynedd. Gwynedd? I can't remember. Here by sign, Tom Builder as master builder for the construction blah blah. blah. King said to provide two hundred pounds a year to be used wholly for materials and craftsmanship. The blah blah blah. In exchange for his work, Tom Builder and, and his family are to receive a private house and the right to attend all common meals at Priory. The contract subject to change with the prize financials. Ooh, and gives for every prospect of additional payment to compensate for the master builder's work. Signed, the prior and Tom Builder. Tom Builder now the master builder. We did it, everyone. We've got a job. Good job, Redhead Jack. We uh, we didn't burn that place down for, for no reason. Do I, I don't really want to speak to Anne Oh, we speak to Mother. Jack, do me a favor and give Paul these herbs, will you? But he's a monk. You don't like monks. Well, it turns out not all of them are bad. Still, be careful before you trust any one of them. Uh, there he is! Give her a prior the welcome he deserves! Oh, um, you know, I am only following God's will. Prepare to raise the bell! Make the prior proud! <laughs> Well, um, thank you. Go on, Jack. Don't forget about Paul's herbs. Where have I seen that woman before? He's still trying to work out where he gave them from. Who was I giving these to? Paul. Oh. Is this, oh, here's Paul. Old mate's Paul. Place is looking alright for a bit. Damn. Winter's come, gone. Sheep here grazing. Plates, people everywhere. You know, like, here you go, Paul. Here you go, mate. This is from my mother. Oh, bless her. Boy, whatever Remedia says, your mother is a saint. Oh, is that the, the bell? bell. Can it's been raised. It from here? Well, I can. Do we want to stand up and look at Bell too? without a cathedral. Your father certainly had strange ideas. <laughs> it might be. What's a bell? You don't know what a bell is, child? Is this the princess? Excuse me. Oh, I remember you. You? I remember you. I remember you too. I was in love with you. You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. Is that so? Yes. Tom Builder and Jack Sherberg. I thought you weren't the Builder's son. Well, I am now. <laughs> I have to say, Pryor Philip told me there would be a lot of sheep here. I can see he wasn't exaggerating. You know Philip too? I do. He's the reason I'm here. Is he around? And he should be around somewhere. Busy man, that fellow. But don't worry. You probably won't have to look for him for long. All right. Thank you. Look at him still in awe. Jack boy loves her. Absolutely adores her. Don't you, Jackie? Was in love from the moment we first saw her. Aliena, Aliena, whatever her name is. Oh, here he is. You better not fucking kill her. I will fucking murder you. <sighs> Shall we go after them? Or he fucking murders her and kidnaps her or some shit. I don't want to know about it. Now we know where we can find them. Ha! Oh! What the fuck just happened? Oh, they ran off. Here's the bishop. Staring into the fire. 
Maybe seeing the devil, I suppose. Do you see the devil, Bishop? Do you see him? My Bishop, William Hamley has returned. Oh, here he is. Send him in, Timothy. We have much to discuss. Oh god, and that's it! The, I believe is the end of chapter 7 and the end of chapter 1. I gave an optimistic estimation of the cost of the construction. I chose an image of paradise for the new cathedral. Time, time, I don't know what the fuck that is. You haven't heard anything about Francis for a while? Have not. Lady Alina, what does she want with Philip? I have no idea. Bishop Walgren began scheming against Kidsbridge, Kingsbridge. And I finished book one. I sure bloody did, didn't I? That's what happens if I click set. Nothing, it just anything cool? Any after credit Next scenes? Oh, here we go. Earth. Next turn. Find out what happened to me and my brother Richard after the siege of our father's castle. Oh. What would the future hold in store for Kingsbridge? We're going to flashback, are we? The pillars of the earth. Sowing the wind. Can't wait. And that's that. That's the end of book one of the Pillars of the Earth. What is happening? What is the bishop planning? What's how many years are we going to skip forward in time at some stage here to see the end of this church being built? Or what is going on? Builders doing some crazy things, apparently raising bells without walls. Apparently that's a thing. Is that girl, is the princess going to be okay? Is Jack going to be okay if she gets kidnapped or something crazy? I don't know. I can't wait to find out more. I can't wait to play some more Pillars of the Earth, especially right here on the Explosion Network YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see that next series when it pops up and make sure you catch all the rest of our videos and the rest of the content we're doing over at ExplosionNetwork.com. And of course, if you want to hear me talk more about this game in a proper review discussion type scenario, me and Nick, Nicholas, from the crew, from the Explosion Network crew, sat down to talk about this game, which he played through as well. You can catch that video. It's live right now. You probably click here to watch that review discussion. There's going to hear some more talking about it, but don't forget to come back for when book two releases, and I'll be playing through that one for you. Leave a comment down below, crazy theories, stuff like that. If you've read the book or watched the TV series and just Googled what's happening, no spoilers, no spoilers. We're not doing that. We're waiting for the next book. Thank you for watching.